So you wanna be healthy in 2019. Well, guess what? It only takes three things. Woo, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Noah. If it's your first time here, I make videos on health, fitness, and tech to improve your life no matter how busy your life may be. So if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. In my last video, I talked about how to actually stick to your resolution. So now that you have a resolution to be healthy, how do you start just being healthy in general? And really, per usual, I like to keep it very, very simple. And after working with 20 plus clients in the Body Conference Academy last year, really three strategies just worked the most. So the first thing to do is be more active. Think about how much you actually get up and move throughout the day. Your day probably looks like this. You get up, you grab breakfast, probably sitting down, then you commute to work, and if you're like me and live in New York City, you probably take public transportation like the train or the bus, or you maybe take an Uber, sitting down again. Then you get to work, you get there, start on your computer, sit there for another three hours until lunch comes up. So you're like, okay, cool, time to go to lunch, and then you'll go grab lunch, 10 minute walk, you'll come back and you just eat lunch at your desk, sitting down. Then you'll work probably later on to the night, maybe seven, eight o'clock, you'll go home, again on that same commute, on the train, on the bus, and Uber, sitting down, then guess what? You'll go home, you'll grab something quick to eat, you pop yourself on the couch, turn on some Netflix. How much movement did you actually do? So the best way to be healthier and to lose body fat is to burn more calories by moving more. The more that you move, the more calories that you burn. So what are some ways that you can move more throughout the day? Is it playing basketball before or after work? Is it doing yoga, workout classes? Maybe it's just setting a simple timer to get up every 30 minutes a day. I don't really care what it is, just do it. The more you move, the healthier your heart will be and the better your body will feel. Second thing is to be more conscious of what you eat. This is probably the biggest thing for you is eating better, right? One of the best ways to start eating better is to just be a little bit more aware of what it is that you're eating. In fact, one of the biggest things that I noticed with my clients in the Body Conference Academy was as soon as they just got a little bit of aware of like what they were eating, they just started making better decisions. And it makes sense because we really get into the habit of eating whatever we want to because of the fact that we're just so stressed out at work. We just had a very long day at work and we're like, okay, I'm hungry, here's food, I'm gonna eat it. But instead, maybe just take five minutes to look at the ingredients and the nutrition label when you're out getting food to meal prep or something. Or maybe you're going out to get something for lunch and you look at the title, you know when they have the title of the foods and then the ingredients right under it? Look at the ingredients and make sure that it's healthy. Vegetables, protein, cool, I'm good. Maybe it's one of those cafeterias where you like put the foods in a container and you weigh it and all that. Well, look at that plate and make sure that it's a colorful plate that has different fruits, vegetables, a really good high quality protein, nothing in there is like processed or anything. It's just a very good way of being more aware of what you're eating. I promise this small tweak will literally change your world and eating healthy will be a habit in no time. Third and final one, honestly, I think this is the most important is surround yourself with healthier people. In order to truly be healthy and be successful with your health and fitness goals this year, you need to be surrounding yourself with people who are either healthy or trying to be healthy as well. I can't stress this enough. You know the saying of like, you are what you eat. It's not really what you are what you eat. You are who you hang out with. I know it sounds like a grandpa, but it's very true. Like you are who you surround yourself with. It even shows in research that environment, social circles, they all impact are a significant part of people's decision making. So if you hang out with somebody who doesn't care about their health and just is wasting their body away, guess what? You're gonna be the same person who is not caring about their health, getting fatter and just wasting your body away. So find a friend, join a community of people, maybe it's just some people in your workout class. Start hanging out with people who have the common goals like you do of eating better, working out more, being healthier, living a longer life. Those are the people who are gonna motivate you to keep moving forward, pick you back up when you fall down or when you you know, make mistakes. They're also gonna help you be the people who congratulate you once you reach that final goal. And I can't express how much it's just so important to surround yourself with the right group of people and being in the right community. You have to think about it. No one ever had like a big physical transformation without some sort of external encouragement. So being healthy in 2019 doesn't have to be hard. You just have to be mindful of those three things. Being more active, moving more. Also, making sure you're just conscious of what you're eating and what you're putting on your plate and putting in your mouth. And at the end of the day, surrounding yourself with people who are working towards the same goals that you are. Like, if you do that, 
I promise you being healthy is gonna be so easy in 2019. So if you want more information of how to be healthy in 2019, go ahead and check out my seven essential healthy habits right in the description box below. It's a quick link. If you do these things every single day, I promise you'll start seeing changes in how you feel, how you look. It's a great starting point. So which of those three are you gonna be working on the most in 2019? For me, I wanna keep surrounding myself with a community of people who have similar goals as I do in health, fitness, business, life, career, all that stuff. I hope this video was super helpful. I'll catch y'all next time. You already know, embrace the hype. Woo!